Hi! Okay, I'm making another video today um, because I have the time and I need to do this while I have time and motivation. Um, so, oh, my OCD has been driving me crazy lately. Um, oh my gosh. I get, whenever I get stressed, um, and I'm kind of stressed about turning 30 and about trying to make some changes in my life and trying to figure things out and I feel so overwhelmed. Um, I'm trying to make money and um, save money and all this stuff. And um, so my OCD has been kind of worse lately. Um, I'm going to tell y'all something, um, I'll make a whole other video about this because I don't want to intermix things, but I had a traumatic thing happen to my family a year and a half ago and my anxiety and OC, well, my OCD, which is caused, triggered by anxiety and stress and stress. Stuff, um, has been worse since this trauma has happened, since this thing has happened. Um, I'll just say I've had a, had a death, okay? Um, and um, it was a traumatic thing. It wasn't, it wasn't someone getting old and dying, okay? It was a big, a big traumatic thing, um, big deal changed my entire life, um, changed my family's entire life. So ever since the death, um, and I'm sorry I sound so cold and detached, but if I, talk, if I start talking about it, I'm going to be a mess and I just want to talk about this issue first and then I'll be a mess another day when I have, don't have to work. <laughs> um, so ever since then, um, I have always had a slight compulsions and um, I don't have anything like I don't wash my hands a million times a day I don't clean a million times a day um, I, I'm very weird about how things are organized um, like my desk here or my bathroom stuff in my bathroom stuff that like my products that I use my kitchen where the food is in the refrigerator uh, like I have to have the labels I don't like labels facing me I want all anything labels has to be facing me um, even if I'm just drinking or eating something it's got to be facing a certain way when I go to bed at night I have to have my door this door closed and another door open and and I can't go to sleep unless everything's right. Um, I'm sure if you have a CD, you are familiar with what I'm talking about. You can't go to sleep until everything is right. And um, people are like, what? You are just, you're OCD. I'm like, yeah, I am. <laughs> My, you know, um, I don't like disarray. I don't like clutter. It makes me feel stressed out. Um, I feel like disarray and clutter. <laughs> My house is always super neat. Um, I don't like have, have I don't like having stuff strewn about and um, I'm very particular about a lot of things. Um, I'm particular about spending money too and that's a whole other topic. But, um, my big OCD, like, I'm not even that, it's not even that bad, my little things that I, like, organize. That's not even that bad, really, because it doesn't take up a whole bunch of time. I mean, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. No, not even that. Maybe 15 minutes to 30 minutes a day I spend arranging things. That's really not that bad. I know people that spend all day trying to clean stuff. I'm not that bad. My main compulsion that I do is 
cold and I kind of nervous about doing a video on this because I don't know how people will react or view it but I have dermatillomania what's that okay uh, it is a skin picking disorder it's a compulsion where you can't help but mess with your skin and some people scratch themselves some people pick off scabs some people um, just uh, different things they pick at their lips some people there's also trichotillomania. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's where people pull their hair. I don't, I've never done that. I've always had um, a compulsion with messing with my face. And I'm about to be 30 years old. I don't really have acne. Um, just minor congestion from diet. I have like, I'm sensitive to sugar and stuff. And um, if I um, have a lot of sugar, I break out. Um, and I just get minor, minor breakouts. And then I get cystic acne maybe once a month. Um, and it's, you know, on my jawline, hormonal kind of stuff. Um, but my face is a mess. I have a lot of scars from picking at little tiny bumps that I made into big things. Um, I can't help it. I couldn't tell you how how many minutes or hours a day I do it because it's an unconscious thing. I don't I don't even go and sit in front of the mirror and do it because I try to avoid sitting in front of the mirror unless I'm doing my hair, doing my makeup. I don't go and just sit there because I know that's bad because <laughs> I'll sit and look in the mirror and find something and make it into or I'll find nothing and make it into something um, it's really embarrassing I have to wear makeup I don't like wearing a lot of makeup I have to go through a lot of concealer and conceal up blemishes um, that really wouldn't have been anything I had to worry about had I just left them alone um, maybe put some medicine on them and let them dry up, but no, I can't. I have a fascination or something in my mind, hates feeling an imperfection in my skin. If I know there's an imperfection there, however tiny, it freaks me out and I don't want it there. And so I tear myself up um, trying to get the imperfection out. And while I've been thinking about it a lot lately. I've been watching other videos of other young women that have this. And I've learned that it's something that's inside your head totally. And you cannot cure yourself of it until you work on what's in here in your head. There's a reason why you pick your face or pull your hair or whatever destructive behavior you do. You may drink or do drugs, whatever. There's a reason in your head that you're hurting yourself like that. And you got to figure out what it is and work on it. Sorry, I need a drink. A Coke, because my voice is like, I need a drink. Um, so I kind of figured out that I've got to work on me. i got to figure out why I am so can't help but do this to myself. And I do it mostly at night when I am in front of the TV and zoned out or I'm in the bed trying to go to sleep and I get in a trance and do it and um, like I said I don't even realize I'm doing it until I'm like oh my gosh I made myself bleed or oh my gosh wow that hurts what did I just oh my gosh I just made this huge mess and oh crap now I'm gonna have this huge mess on my face for a couple of days and it's really embarrassing because I don't want people to think I have nasty skin or this really disgusting habit. Um, it's a horrible habit. Um, I don't think it makes me dirty or gross or anything. I'm just obsessed with having perfect skin, but yet I make my skin as bad as it is. If I would just leave it alone, I'd have pretty decent skin. I've gone through times where I had a week or two where I didn't pick and I have pretty good skin. 
Um, and then I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, you look so good. Your face is awesome. Look at me. Woohoo, yeah. Uh, and then I go and pick 30 minutes later. It's like I don't want myself to be happy. Um, so I gotta work on that. I don't know why. There's some kind of mental block or something triggering me to not want to be happy or not want to feel pretty. Um, something in my head doesn't want me to feel pretty or desirable or want it. Um, so that's my problem. And it's been bothering me a lot lately. When I went camping, I didn't pick because I was around people. And I did, plus I didn't have my, you know, makeup or anything, so I didn't want to, we didn't want to make a big mess. And my skin, when I got back, you know, all my stuff was kind of healing up from the week before. I was like, hey, my skin looks great. And then I went and picked that night. Arrgh. I'm going to freaking grown ass woman. I'm 30 years old. And I have a habit of like some little teenager. And I'm an adult. Um, so it's very embarrassing. And I don't go around telling people this. Um, my family doesn't know I do have a problem with this. They probably suspect I do, but they don't, you know, probably know the extent of it. But like I do it almost every night. And sometimes it's not bad. Um, and sometimes I don't do it, but sometimes I really hurt my, I really, really hurt myself. Um, and I'm, I'm ruining my skin. I'm going to have scars. I mean, I already have some scars and I'm going to, if I keep doing it, I'm going to have a really messed up face. So I've got to, I've got to work on it. I've got to watch what I'm doing with my hands. I need to start wearing gloves or something at night because... I want to break this habit. It's a, it's, it stresses me out so much. I just want to feel pretty. I want to have decent skin so bad. Um, it's really frustrating. Really frustrating. So that's what I'm working on. Yeah, that's my main issue right now in my life. That's it. So that's one of the things that's bothering me the most. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and do a video about it. And I'm going to keep track of my progress. I've been watching videos of other people trying to deal with this and break the habit. And um, I'm going get to get to a therapist and get some ideas. And I'll be sure and let you know what works and what doesn't work. Um, but I'm definitely going to keep track of this because this is one of my issues that I want to resolve before I do really, really more damage than I've already done. So, sorry if I'm kind of amped up, but I am amped up because it's bothering me. So, I'm going to fix it. Um, I can't keep beating myself up about this. I've got to <sighs> show some willpower and not let myself fall into the habit because it's, it's very difficult to break as you know if you have it it's a very difficult habit to break and it's just self it's like a repetitive thing you can't you just gotta break this cycle so I'm gonna try to break this cycle so that I can let my skin heal up and be pretty but alright thank you for listening to me um, I'll, I'll keep you uh, up to date on on the dermatillomania and uh, my other body issues. Alright, bye for now.